just uh, so uh, hey what's that about Welcome to Stereo 3D Productions and this first impressions video of Portal 2 modded for virtual reality. One of the games I've been dying to see in proper native VR for a very, very long time. Yes, it's finally happened and before we jump into it, I'd like to give you a bit of a backstory. Now, if that's too much for you, by the way, and you just want to get on with the mod setup, skip to the installation, setup and controls section of this video in the table of contents or chapter list. First off, you have to understand that this isn't my first rodeo with Portal 2 through a headset. Since early 2014, I was already doing experiments trying to play this game through an injector called Vareo Perception. In the early days, Perception was an open source alternative to Vorpex, similar in many ways but with unique qualities of its own. Back in the development days of VR, there were actually multiple injector tools available. Later in 2015, I gave Portal 2 another shot in VR, this time using Tridef Ignition, along with an experimental VR plugin they were working on. Both experiences delivered a glimpse of what Portal 2 could be in VR, and while Tridef got really close to doing it well, those setups just weren't up to snuff for mass consumption, and also, since this matters to a lot of players, all these methods only supported gamepad or mouse and keyboard inputs. No VR hands in sight. One noteworthy surprise was the comfort level of this game. One would expect Portal 2 to be extreme in VR and cause nausea, but even with the early adaptations, it was clear that Portal 2 in VR wasn't anywhere nearly as dizzying as it seemed when looking in from the outside. If anything, for me, the movement and extreme jumps and portal hops were incredibly satisfying. Over time, as VR progressed into its first consumer generation, many injector tools fell by the wayside, leaving almost only Vorpex as the true king. Fortunately, Portal 2 ran excellent through it and put aside the gun layer issue, where the foreground item is at a different depth than the rest of the game, every other visual aspect rendered correctly, and despite the lack of motion controls, the game proved quite exciting to play through the popular VR injection tool. In fact, while a lot of games are relatively complicated to set up with Vorpex, Portal 2 had gotten so damn easy to get going that I opted to never make a tutorial for it since it was just not necessary. The process was like three simple clicks. Obviously though, injectors are never optimal. For me, it's not the lack of motion controls that cut it short. The biggest flaw actually lies in the fact that the visuals, the performance, and the frame timing feels like you're using an injector. Yes, such tools are great for many games, but Portal 2 deserved a better VR adaptation. I'd frequently hear this debate randomly creeping around through the VR community. Will Portal 2 ever go VR? Some would say the game was too intense, which by now you know I disagreed with. Anyone who had tried properly configured VR injector versions of Portal 2 would also know better. Everyone, I'm glad to announce that the debate doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter anymore because someone finally just said fuck it and made a mod that finally runs Portal 2 in VR, not through an injector, but instead using native VR runtimes directly, just like a game with first party implementation. That's right, this is a true adaptation, which supports motion controls, some amount of room scale features, optimized performance and graphics, and just an overall superior VR first experience. One that this game has deserved since day one. The naysayers were clearly wrong. This game is still absolutely thrilling to experience in VR thanks to some of the extreme motion. To me, it hasn't been disorientating or dizzying or anything, rather it's been exhilarating. The Portal 2 VR mod means that Portal 2 is now officially a VR game, and as expected, it's a damn great one at that. If you've been following the VR modding trend on this channel, since we're about to cover how to install this mod, you probably already know where this is going with step one. We always start by downloading something and shoving it in the root of our game folder. This time is no different. Head to the releases page of the Portal 2 VR mod and download the latest release. Once you have the archive downloaded, navigate to the root folder of your game by right-clicking it in Steam going Manage, and then Browse Local Files. 
This will open the folder where we'll be dropping the mod in. Now, with that folder open, extract the contents of the mod archive into a separate directory, copy those contents, and paste them into the root of your game. Now, this step is important. Go back to the releases page where we downloaded the archive from. In the instructions all the way at the bottom should be a list of launch parameters to copy and paste. Go ahead and copy that string. I'll also include it directly in the description of this video to save you time. Copy those, then in Steam, right-click the game and go Properties. In the General tab for Portal 2, scroll down to Launch Options and paste the contents we just grabbed a moment ago. You can go ahead and close that window. At this point, you are by all means free to jump right into Portal 2 in VR. That's right, it was that easy to get going, but let's stop for a moment before we rush in and take a look at how to configure the various options we have for this game. No, this time we don't have a Half-Life 2-like in-game VR settings menu, or even one of the likes of Resident Evil. Instead, we have to edit a configuration file if you want to change some of the options. However, I found the defaults to be rather appropriate for me, and it's likely you will find them good as well. But if you do want to change options, navigate to the root of your game folder through Steam, then open the VR subfolder from there, and finally open the file config.txt. From there you can make changes such as disabling 6 degrees of freedom, there are valid reasons, I'll explain later, enabling smooth snap rotation, and other useful options like left-handed mode, UI options, and offset positions for items held in your hands. Make the changes you want and save the file for your settings to take effect next time you jump in. That's it! We are now all Portal 2 VR installation and setup experts thanks to this information. It's now time to go back to being simply a VR player by firing up Portal 2 in our headsets. Do keep in mind that the current solution runs exclusively through Steam VR, which isn't really that bad on its own since players can even use Steam Link now to bypass Oculus runtime overhead completely. Just keep in mind that when you launch, this will not interface directly to Oculus runtimes and will always use Steam VR as the middleman. For our controls, since this game is pretty simple, so is the default input mapping. It's left stick to move, right stick to rotate, A or right side lower faceplate button to jump, Y or left side upper faceplate button to open the menu, right trigger to fire, right grip for alternate fires or the orange portal, B or right upper faceplate button to interact, and if you want to reset your view, press on the left thumbstick. Keep the reset view control in mind, it's going to come in handy a lot. So before we start going over the potential issues with this mod, I need to be clear there is nothing major. The following issues are just dumb little problems and one of them might actually go away sooner than later. For the most part, you'll find your experience playing this game strangely will get you gaslighting yourself as to whether this game was ever actually made for VR from the ground up or not. That being said, the adaptation is not perfect and there's a few things I want to point out. First, and most importantly, let's talk about 6 degrees of freedom. When I first tried this mod, the feature itself was disabled in the configuration by default. This was a strange choice, and for me, when I first loaded in unaware of this fact, the head rotation felt very strange. It only took me moments to realize why it was as strange as it was. Shortly after, I enabled the 6 degrees of freedom option myself in order to test it, and while at first I did have issues, it was nothing to do with the mod, this was a skill issue on my part, not knowing you could recenter your position by pressing the left thumbstick, I did find that the room scale movement in this mod does not work quite as intended. Yes, when you enable 6 degrees of freedom, you will suddenly find yourself able to move and walk with your own body in this game but you won't be starting where you'd expect. You'll be floating at about the altitude of your set VR height as if standing on top of someone's head. Press your left thumbstick to reset your position correctly and things will appear normal again. However, the game isn't aware of your physical steps. It will always think that you exist in your VR play center. 
your collider, your interact raycasts, everything is centered around your VR play center. So if you stray from your play center during the session, you'll eventually notice that your rotation center is off from where you're standing and that your player camera can suddenly clip through walls since the game thinks your collider is in the center of that rotation. In order to remedy this issue, just make sure to recenter often by pressing the left stick. It's important to do, especially before taking a big jump into a portal, given that's the moment where having your player collider one foot off to your left or right will fuck things up. I've played two sessions by now using this mechanic and I haven't run into any real issues. And sure enough, the modders have decided to now ship the mod with six degrees of freedom on by default, so I assume they agree there's no real issue here. Another one of the more important problems at hand, and this one is game breaking, is that not only do we lack an in-game menu section for VR settings, but if you mess with certain video options and apply changes, the game will stop projecting in your headset and require a restart. Strangely, you'll still have access to the game through your desktop so you can finish making whatever changes it was you were trying to do, but you'll still have to re-fire Portal 2 to get it working in VR again. Even though this is game breaking, given we configure our VR options by editing a config file at the moment, it's just a simple matter of avoiding the settings menu, notably the graphics section. The next issue is dumb. It's visible, but it's just a dumb nitpick. You'll notice that the portal gun model isn't quite complete. It's cut off at the back and on the bottom, but honestly that hasn't taken me out of it besides the moment where you first see the gun. It's weird looking, but Portal 2 has such incredible things for me to experience in VR that I nearly forgot about this issue completely until I rewatched my old footage recently. Last issue, and probably one of the hardest ones to figure out. One that will so often make you go, damn, why the fuck can I hit this thing with any precision whatsoever? Keep in mind that your aim, when using the portal gun or anything that raycasts from your right hand, such as interact prompts, is kind of a combination of where your hand is pointing and where your head is looking. So this isn't full face gun, but the projectile or ray casts comes from your dominant hand and goes exactly where your head is oriented at. This does take a bit of getting used to, and to be honest with you, it became a lot less of a problem when someone explained to me what was going on. It's one thing to try to aim at something not realizing this at all, and another to know about it and just use it to your advantage. The fact that we now finally have Portal 2 running in native VR, yes, this is a mod, but technically it is running the VR natively, is absolute bliss for us headset junkies. I was right, we were all right, this game is absolutely thrilling in VR. Yes, compared to its predecessor Portal 1, Portal 2 is more cerebral and focuses a lot less on physically landing a target or performing a difficult jump, but in virtual reality it's turned into a freaking action game. Don't be put off by appearances. I knew this all along since having VR injector experience with this game. The extreme movements are nowhere near as uncomfortable as they seem and no, Portal 2 is not a vomit inducing machine in VR. If anything, it's a goddamn amusement park ride of the highest order. That's right Disney, virtual reality gaming is coming for your asses and there's nothing you can build that would be quite as thrilling as this. Side note, I'm trying to bait them into constructing a simulation that would let us physically experience real aerial plate jumps. I cannot begin to explain how much this VR implementation means to me. It feels like we finally put an end to one of the longest chapters in the history of this tech. The how long is it gonna be till the day we get a taste of native VR in Portal 2 chapter. From Vareo Perception in 2014 to Tri Definition VR in 2015, Vorpex in 2016, all the way until today, I had seen this game get so close to real VR so many times, and while things dragged on, I nearly lost hope it would finally get the implementation it deserved. But now, finally, it's here, and it's exactly as cool as I expected it to be. My sincere compliments to Gistix and his team, including Kabbalistic, who also worked on the Half-Life 2 VR mod. This mod is another home run, you knocked it out of the park again.
So I usually leave off by giving my recommendation to players. First, should you play this in VR if you already have the game? Answer is yes, by the way. But more importantly, what about those who don't own the game? Should they buy into Portal 2 just with the sole intent of playing it in virtual reality? Well, in this game's case, it's a double yes. Despite not having the polish of in-game VR options and all that fine smooth jazz we've seen in other mods like Half-Life 2 VR, the VR functionality itself is there at nearly 100% and will allow you to easily play through the entire game without taking your headset off once. If you've never experienced Portal 2 at all, it is indeed worth buying just to play it with this VR mod. Being an older game, performance is quite incredible, even on lower spec systems, and being it has graphics on the slightly more simplistic side, it will even look great on previous gen headsets and lower settings. It's really an easy game to pick up and run in VR, it's cheap, it's not too long, and it allows you to go at your own pace, which means it may be a great tool to ease yourself into more extreme VR motion if you're new to the tech. I really mean it, this is one of the most important VR retrofits of all time. It proves a lot of things about virtual reality. No, you don't need complex interactions to make VR immersive. No, you don't need 10,000 comfort options to make VR comfortable. No, you don't have to be afraid of some forms of extreme motion in VR. Portal 2 movement is almost always horizontal or vertical straight lines, and when it's not, the speeds are incredibly high which sort of cheats your brain into not even having time to react negatively to the movement. Additionally, the camera in this game is never forcibly rolled side to side. Even when being catapulted at ridiculous velocities, your head view always remains straight and level and relative to your own head's position. All you need for a good comfortable VR run is proper performance, good rendering resolution, and proper controls implementation. All things that we have in this wonderful mod. I'm going to be continuing my playthrough on our sister channel Stereo 3D Plays where I invite you to join me for that and other adventures. I'll post a link in the description to the second channel if you want to pay it a visit. There's already three parts worth of Portal 2 VR up there as of the making of this video, parts which were used for the gameplay video in this feature presentation. Portal 2 is now officially a VR game and you've been watching Stereo 3D Productions telling you how freaking awesome it is. I hope you have your shot at the game soon, let us know how your experience goes in the comments below and of course, thanks for watching all the way through and I shall see you next time.